Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to create a new record from the portal side. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a new form view in the portal side, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development, different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow. So let's back to our main topic like how you can create a new record from portal side. So let's say last time we created this menu, we created also the controller which is this new slash new student and we created this form view the name and the school. In the school, we also rendered the dynamic school profiles from the backend side, right? So now we are trying to create a new record in the backend side using the portal feature, okay? So here, the first thing is you have to understand two things. Like while you submit the record, let me open this template. So this is the template we created and it will looks like this one, all right? So you have to understand one more thing, the form view. Here there are many uh, options available. Let's say the method, right? Then after the action and encrypted and all, right? We will not talking about all the things at once, right? So here, let's say we can use here the method. The method would be the get, put, then after the post, delete, uh, write the put. So what is the purpose, right? If you see in the backend side, we are trying to create a record. We are trying to create a, uh, we are trying to update the record. We are trying to delete the record. And plus, we are also read the specific records, right? So to perform such operations using the HTML form view here, right? So the methods comes to the picture. Right, so here we are compulsory using the post method. Why? Because the security purpose. So here you can see this is our a normal, uh, let's say, the form view, right? And here I will try to use like let's say the web lens, Then after this specific school, right? And now you just noticed here the new then after slash student, right? And once I will click to this button, it will try to submit this information whatsoever informations we are you like user will put here it will get in the url like the name is the web lens and the school is the 12. so let's say this is the get method by default if we didn't provide here this particular method type right so let's say by default we didn't provide anything so that means like HTML form you automatically use the get method. We are not trying to do this part, but we are using this method equal to post. Now we are trying to upgrade this module. So let's say if you don't know how to configure Odoo in PyCharm, I already explained like how to configure Odoo in PyCharm. Already there is a one playlist available. All right, so please check. Now let's say I will try to go to home page. I will click to the registered student and now I will try to like let's say weblands and let's say IIT right and once I will click to this button right now you can see the uh, you can just exclude this error but here you can see in the URL you cannot see that name and the school the the URL the specific URL right so this is the main use of this method equal to post okay now another thing is like whenever you are trying to use method equal to post or put or accept the get method right after that we compulsory have to pass the csrf token what it is like it's a general practice to secure your session right it will generate some that particular token 
and that field specific field automatically hidden so let's say i will refresh the screen right i will try to inspect the element and here you can see this name field here you can see this selection field right but you cannot see that scrf token here why because we didn't pass out here so for that like we can also add like input type equal to hidden right the name would be csrf token and here the value would be request dot c srf underscore token this method we have to call and it will automatically written here that specific token okay to perform this to submit this information to the server okay so let me upgrade this module let me refresh the screen and now here you can see you can see here csrf token and this is the value okay now i can easily let's say pass this information in the back end side create student profile without any errors right and once this screen automatically refresh right it will automatically generate the new token so it's handled by the odoo right now you don't need to worry about anything so here again like we already passed these records in the back end side but what about those records uh, what about those data how we can first collect the data whatsoever pass from the front end side right so here this is the keyword arguments you can see double star kw this kw will get all the informations related the form view that specific form that's uh, the html form right so for that so let's say how you can also get that specific data so you can just print here the kw that's it we don't need to upgrade this module just to restart the service let's say weblands and iit and i will click here it will refresh the screen it means successfully call this method and it will automatically render this information so here you can see we will we already received this information from the front end side the name is the weblands and school is the 12 12 is the id of the database for the school profile okay and now we are trying to create here the record the one more thing is like the get method and the post method automatically call here but let's say if you want to restrict this controller only pass the post method or only the get method then you can just use here the methods and simple you can just use something like this post okay let me restart the service and now you can see it will throws the error method not allowed the method is not allowed for this request okay but let's say if i will use something like this the two the get method as well as the post method then after it will automatically resolve this error now you can see right here you can also check in the back end side whether the method call by the post or call by the get method right so for that we can use here if request.http request dot method equal to equal to post then it will print or else print get method so now you can see here what i did is like let's say let's say i will refresh the screen it will call the get method and here you can see the get method automatically called let me remove this logs let's say web and here i will choose a different 
let's say the Nalanda University and now you can see here in the backend side the post method call okay so here simple I will try to create a new record that is request.env student dot sorry school dot student create and here like let's say the name and kw dot get we can use the name and let's say the school underscore id here we can define integer kw dot get and simple we can use this key here okay and let's see Ref uh, restart the service here uh, let me go to in the student profile you can see total 13 record is available right now I will try to create a new record IID so it successfully created a new record here you can see a 13 record right you can see the 14th record is also created the weblands and the school is IIT you can see this record is created so like this way you can create dynamic data from the website or let's say from the portal side or let's say from the front end side to the back end side using the controller like this way if you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in our next session. Plus, our next session would be how to control the server validation. So, server validation means, let's say, if I will click to this button, you can see it will throw such exception, right? Invalid, literal, integer, selection, school, or let's say the name also is the blank, right? Right now, you can see the name is also blank right like let's say if i will create this if i will click to this button it the name would be passed as a blank and the school instead of the id it will automatically pass the string value and here our code automatically crash and due to that having a this error message like this okay so what we will do is in our next session like we are trying to create uh, some validation the server side validation and then after the next session would be how you can also handle the predefined client side validations and then after we are trying to extend the JS part and based on the JS code we are trying to implement the client side validation alright so see you in our next session.